Today we will create this really cool Instagram template design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and designs like this. So let's jump right into Illustrator. First go to File and create a new artboard with square dimensions. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a square equal to the size of the artboard. Apply a dark blue color to this square. Note down the RGB code for this color. Now we will add a surface here. First download all these assets from the video description. Then drag this surface image in Illustrator. Align it to the center of the artboard. And slightly scale it up to increase the surface area. Move this surface towards the bottom side. Now create a copy of this background square. And paste it in front. Drag this copy outside the artboard. We will use this copy in a minute. Now open these two AI files. Then go to this background file. And drag this background in your design. Align it to the center of the artboard. And place it on a position like this. Now right click on this square. And bring it to front. Align it back to the center. Decrease its height to half of the artboard. And decrease its opacity to around 70%. Now we have a background like this. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our background. Place some food images here. Drag this first food image in Illustrator. Scale it down properly. And place it somewhere like this. Now drag this second food image in Illustrator. Scale it down as well. And place it on a position similar to the first image. And adjust this image to make both these images equal. Slightly place this second in front of the first image. Now select this first image. Open the effect menu. And apply a shadow to this image. Note down these values for the shadow. And hit OK. Now this image is looking more appropriate. Slightly rotate both these images to create some realistic shadow for them. Now we will create some shadow for these images. Select the ellipse tool, and create an ellipse here. Change its fill color to black. and slightly adjust its shape like this. Now open the effect menu, and apply some blur to this ellipse. Select a value around 40 and hit OK. Again go to the effect menu, and apply a feather effect this time. Select a small value around 20 and hit OK. Open the layers panel and place this ellipse behind the food images. And adjust its position for the first image. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy for the second image. 
slightly adjust its position as well. Now these images are looking more realistic. You can always adjust the position of these shapes. Now select both these images. Adjust their position in the center. And slightly scale them up if needed. Now we can add headline text for our template. Select the type tool, and write some headline text here. Change its color to an orange color like this. Note down the RGB code for this orange color. Also note down the font that I've used here. Align this headline to the center of the artboard. Now create a copy of this text for the remaining headline. Adjust its font size slightly. Now replace this copy of the text. Change its color to white. And increase the font size to a large value. Slightly adjust the position of this headline. Create another copy of this orange text. And replace it with some other text. Use some other font for this line. Note down the font that I've used. Slightly decrease its font size. You can add your logo at the top left corner. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale down properly. And place it on a position like this. Now we will add some discount offer here. Select the ellipse tool, and create an ellipse like this. Change its fill color to white. Click on this small arrow to remove the fill and apply a stroke. Now open the stroke panel. If you cannot see this stroke panel, go to window. And here you will see stroke. Open this panel from there. And click on this dashed line. Note down the dashed points that I've used. Now we have a nice dashed stroke for the ellipse. Write some discount offer for this ellipse. You can write any discount offer that you like. Apply different colors to this discount offer. Use some decent font for this text. And increase its font weight to bold. Note down the font that I've used. Now adjust this text inside this ellipse. You can adjust the font size according to the ellipse shape. Select this full discount offer. And slightly rotate it like this. Place this discount offer closer to the food image. 
Slightly scale it down if needed. And adjust its position here. Now we will add some contact info here at the bottom side. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle. Apply the same orange color to this rectangle. Select this rectangle shape. Open the effect menu. And round its corners. Select a small value around 10 and hit OK. Now write some text for this rectangle. Align this text to the center of this rectangle. And decrease its font size accordingly. Create a copy of this text. Change its color to the same orange color. And write a contact number here. Slightly increase its font size. Create a copy of this number. Change its color to white. And write some helpful link here. Decrease its font weight and the font size. Place this full text to a position like this. Now we will add some final effects to this template. Open this Spotlight AI file. And drag these spotlights in your design. Align them to the center of the artboard. And place them on a position like this. Now finally drag this small fence image. Align it to the center. And scale it down according to the artboard. Place it on a position like this. Now apply a shadow to this fence image. Apply the same values of the shadow and hit OK. Now our template design is complete. Open the object menu. And select unlock all. This will unlock all the layers that were locked earlier. Select the rectangle tool, and create a square equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And make a clipping mask. And here is the final template design. Hope you liked this tutorial and learned something new today. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.